Good evening, everyone in YouTube land. Once again, it's time for Lansing by Myself, where we talk about being a freelance creative game designer in a world with not enough money and not enough spoons to go around. And today, I want to talk about stories. And I want to tell you a story, or at least narrate you through a story. There's a great book I read when I was young and I loved, and I think I read it about two or three times. It's called The Phantom Tollbooth. It was written, I think, in the 50s by an American called Norton Juster, and it's basically a, a another version of Alice in Wonderland. It involves a strange boy who is transported into another land that's full of the same kind of whimsical word and numerical tricks that Alice runs into. Um, people jump to an island called Conclusions. There are watchdogs that are literally half dog half watch and so on uh, the boy the hero Milo sets out to rescue this land because the two twin princesses of rhyme and reason have gone missing have been kidnapped in fact and um, on his long journey across the land to, to rescue them he runs into a number of interesting and colorful characters and a few of them uh, take him aside and so, when they hear about his quest and they say there's something very very important I need to tell you about your quest but I can't tell you it until you get back. And in the very last chapter, Milo has saved the princess's return to the capital, um, stored goodness to the land, and he meets many of these important characters who met him on his quest. And they all said that same thing to him, that they had something to tell him about his quest. And he's like, well, I'm back now. Um, what was this thing that you so absolutely had to tell me when I got back? And they all look at him and say, well, we had to tell you that it was impossible. It was absolutely impossible. But obviously, we couldn't tell you that, or you wouldn't have gone. Now, obviously, it's a homily, and it's a little cliche, but the point of this story is not so much the story itself, but what that story means to me. I've never forgotten it. I keep it in my head, and it's one of the stories that keeps me going. Because over the last two and a half years that I've been working on Relics, there have been many, many mornings, almost every morning, where I've thought about all the things I have to do, and even just the little things I have to do that day, and I have no idea how to do them, no idea how I'm going to get the strength to do them, or how to even conceive of them. They are so large, so difficult, and so alien to everything that is part of my experience, they are absolutely impossible. They tower over me like a giant mountain of uh, inscalable, uh, a cliff that is, that is you know, too sheer to climb, a task that is just unable to be tackled. Um, and it feels incredibly impossible. Sometimes, of course, with my illness, even getting out of bed, making a meal, getting to the end of the day, all these things can feel absolutely impossible. And then I tell myself that story. I tell myself the story of Milo and the impossible task. And I get up. And then I also tell myself that joke about how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time. And I look at the elephant and I sink it down to that tiny little bite. It doesn't matter what the stories are for you. What matters about this is what is the need to have stories. The fact is that humans think in stories. We think in ritual and we think in narrative. And if you don't think about the rituals and the narratives that are inside your head, you're going to have them anyway. If you don't consciously plan out and decide what your stories are, you will be assigned them haphazardly and subconsciously, and they may not be ideal. They may not be stories that sustain you and keep you going. You will have schemas and stories in your head that are going to tear you down. You should consciously build up the stories and myths that keep you going when you run into trouble. It might be role-playing a character. It might be slipping into a mindset. It might just be thinking about, you know, Captain America getting back up off the floor and saying, I can do this all day. It might be thinking about, you know, Luke Skywalker igniting his lightsaber and going into the fight. Or indeed, just dropping his lightsaber and walking away from the fight when that was what it needed to do. Stories are... Uh, does, are what we need, what we think in. They help keep us strong. They help us find our way. They help us get through the dark times. They help us keep going. And what matters so much for any kind of endeavor is the ability to keep going. 
when things are tough and when things seem absolutely impossible. I ran into that wall all the time and the only way I got through it was with stories. So think about what your stories are, choose good stories, and hopefully they can get you through. That's our lesson for today. We'll see you next time. Until then, play games, pat dogs, have fun, be good.